Hello guys and welcome to the new redstone tutorial and the nether update is out I know I'm late to the party but these are the new latest emotes I'm doing right now that's a wave emote and that's a basalt farm basalt generator behind me the perfect one <laughs> is just an upgradation to my stone generator you might have seen my video making a stone generator that makes stone not cobblestone I repeat a stone generator that is automated it's just a little modification to that and you can see it's it has good rates and I just built it right now about like a minute ago so it's just a little bit slow at first but as you keep breaking breaking the basalt it keeps on pushing it faster and faster it just get better it gets better with time you, you, you know you know like it's a they say the oldest vine are the best it's the same with the farm this farm specifically the more you mine the faster it gets and you can see it's just instantly pushing out a lot of vessel so as you can see the breaking chamber is compact in that because I added two obsidian blocks and because of that the piston could not push forward the whole column of these stones uh, and of basalt and you can do the same by putting two obsidian at that position so that it won't go further than your specified location and you can have a compact farm that works exactly the same and it's just wonderful it's amazing and yeah I'll keep building and posting a lot of more tutorials it's just a little thing you can now pause the video the all the material and items are in this chest and you can take a screenshot now you will need two blue eyes two soul soil two obsidian some solid blocks and some glass glass are just a fancy thing that I do because I like to decorate it with glass and some sticky key pistons and <laughs> redstone torch repeater lava chest and hoppers specifically eight hoppers because I use eight hoppers because sometimes while breaking the basalt basalt the blocks might jump forward and you won't be able to reach them you the only way would be to break the glass and go inside so I just added some extra hoppers to you know just won't uh, that way it won't waste any block that we break in this farm that we generate in the farm let's just go into survival mode and build this in survival because every of my tutorial is in survival because that's what I do so let's uh, grab some solid blocks and now just follow as I do and make a 4x3 platform with two blocks hollow space in them in between just like this and in these two spaces we will have soul soil and now we need to do similar thing to that what we do did in the stone farm we need to break this block that's just a placeholder okay and we do the same on the other side also my most of the builds are symmetrical in design I mean they're identical on both sides then we need to cover it up like we did in our stone generator exactly like that cover it up and that same hollow spot where water used to be in the stone generator will be the place will we place the block ice block that specifically blue ice because it won't work otherwise now we just need to place two more blocks some placeholders for the sticky piston and that will be most of the solid block build done we won't need much solid blocks after that except for the clock part I just take the sticky pistons and I place them facing toward me that will push the basalt outwards in that direction and now we can break the blocks the placeholder blocks and then let's start on the clock place one block there and there let me just clear out the area I'll just remove this chest I'll just take all the things in my inventory and my hotbar and remove the chest from here okay so what we will do after removing this is we place one block right there one placeholder then another block now we can break the placeholder as always 
and we will need a redstone torch we will place a redstone torch right there now we need a repeater facing that block forward in that direction now place it and done now we need to place a redstone it will start pushing the first piston now we need to connect the redstone to the last piston and so that both pistons work simultaneously and that works perfectly you can see the both pistons are pushing forward at the same time now take the blue eyes place them in the hollow blocks then take the soul soil and place them in the hollow blocks <laughs> these are the same things that i said now before placing lava at that location we need to build the the glass portion that we used to break the basalt basalt i don't know the proper pronunciation to it this is a tricky word for me not english not being my actual language so i need to now cover it up a little bit and we'll place the obsidian first so that while it start making uh, basalt i was going to say obsidian while it start making obsidian it won't push it further like we it did in the stone generator i repeat again that was just a little bit of you know uh, update to the stone generator in this video that you can shorten the build comp build part the stone pillar by placing two obsidian now i should extend this two blocks further so that the pickaxe reach only reach till the last of the basalt pillar like you know it pushes out two blocks wide basalt now place eight hoppers all facing into the chest and each other that way and just cover it up that's almost the farm complete yeah i was talking about while you stand there you cannot hit the glass at the end and place obsidian there so that it won't break the glass and your pickaxe will only reach to the last of the basal block and we'll just cover it up and the only important thing that's left is placing the lava and the farm is completely done now let me just get the lava buckets okay now we'll place the lava in that top play uh top blocks that we left open you can do it with only one lava bucket but i just prefer to make it even looking so i use always two and you can see the basalt is pumping out it's amazingly doing better and amazingly doing fast <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying okay the chest are empty i'll do it in front of you i'll start breaking them you can see it's working better than the one i showed you before it's even faster at the start and i'll show you the exact rates in how much time i'm mining it and how much i got in that time so let's just keep watching it so one quick suggestion or maybe a request from me is that or oh, you can see that's a lot of basalt that we mined just this much time yeah i was saying that if any of the farm you saw on youtube doesn't work you can tell me in the comments so that i can work on it and present to you that farm in a way that it works for you i just want to serve the minecraft community by improving the farms in the way that it's not and increase my knowledge of redstone so that's almost everything for the basal farm i don't usually do this but please like share and subscribe my channel it would be a huge help in growing this channel so that it reach out to many and many people and helps everyone so now see you in the next video bye bye <laughs> the new emora awesome yippee